Good morning, family. Y'all know who it is. Is This is our pastor, RJ2, Pastor Robert Jackson of Jesus in the Church right here in Appomattox. And I want to say thank you for joining in on this morning. I got a lot that I need to cover, so I'm going to jump right in. Um, the last message um, that I had spoke on uh, talked to deal, dealt with interruptions. And with the lifestyle of Jesus, he was interrupted a lot. His ministry was based upon interruption. Even his interruptions were interrupted. But still, he did what he needed to do. He did what he had to do. So along with that, you know, along with that, God is saying in this season that we're in, that he not only wants to give us a word for this year, but also, this is my topic for the morning, he also wants to give us a strategy or strategies for this year of 2022. A strategy is a method or a plan chosen to bring about a desired future. It's such as an achievement or a goal or a solution to a problem. But there is another term I want to talk about, and it's called a beachhead strategy, a beachhead strategy. It comes from a military strategy that states that as you are approaching an enemy territory, you should plan and focus all of your resources on winning a small border area that becomes a stronghold from which to advance into the enemy territory. I know people out there probably heard of this guy and this guy's name is Jeff Bezos, Jeff Bezos, and he is the founder of and former CEO of the global e-commerce giant called Amazon. Amazon, I know y'all have heard of Amazon, but Jeff Bezos is the founder. Uh, as of late 2021, Jeff Bezos is the second richest person on earth with a net worth of $197 billion dollars. Starting with a beachhead strategy that he used, he dominated every category Amazon has entered. The beachhead strategy of starting in books starts off Bezos' attempt to attack from the lines of least resistance. Had Amazon started off in every category from day one, he'd be fighting off competitors from every side. But instead, Bezos dominated the books, the book area. He added category after category in the lowest margin of business, surviving without profits for decades in order to bleed the competitors dry. But at the same time, he increased the number of Prime subscribers. Prime has been the ace in the hole for Amazon and the strategy for Prime members to return Amazon to spend a greater and greater share of money each new category Amazon enters. And this is a great example of what I call a strategy. So for a lot of us, the COVID-19 pandemic has caused us to be creative in helping us to find a new strategy. But for some people, and hopefully it's not you, but they are stuck because of the pandemic. In other words, they are at a standstill. They do not have a game plan, a strategy, or a word for this season that's going to propel them forward. Let me show you in the word of God about what I mean about being stuck without a strategy. In John chapter 5, we deal with this pool called Bethesda. For an angel will go down at a certain time into the pool, stir up the water, and then whoever stepped in first was made well of whatever disease they had. Now, a certain man was there who had an infirmity for 38 years. And Jesus saw him lying there and said to him, do you want to be made well? And after many excuses, Jesus said to him, rise, take up your bed and walk. And immediately the man was made well. So family, when we meet this man in this story, he's stuck and he's been stuck for 38 years because he did not have a strategy. And just because he's paralyzed doesn't make it that we should have pity on him. 
You want to know why? Because Jesus wants us to see the text not only from his perspective, but from the man's perspective as well. He was there for years and he let the same thing happen over and over and over and over again. Year after year, he let people go in front of him and he missed his healing. Each year he went back and each year he got the same result because he had no strategy. And I want to pause right here and throw this out. Just because you are around a lot of people does not mean that you're going to get the help you need to bring about the change you need. And the flip side to this is at times we may want to help someone out by giving them a game plan for success. But we have to realize that just because a person is stuck, please do not think that everybody wants to get rid of their problem. See, some people have been in their situation for so long that it's become their reality and they like being there. They say one thing out of their mouths, but they do the direct opposite. And we can want more for that person than they want for themselves. And the text says this in verse six. It says that Jesus asked him, do you want to be made well? Instead of telling him, yes, I want to be made whole. Yes, I want to be restored. Yes, I want to receive my healing. He gave him a 38 year old excuse. He was so focused on his problems that he couldn't see any solutions. Family, for Jesus can fix us our problem. He wants to fix our minds first so we can come up with a new strategy in order to fix an old problem. So for this new year of 2022, God wants us to, to give us a new word or a new strategy for get good health. That's the number one thing you need to write down. God wants to give us a strategy for good health. In this encounter with Jesus, the man was at a standstill because he did not have a game plan. But there are other times when we need to stand still because God says that that is the strategy. My next example can be found in 2 Chronicles chapter 20. And I want to just give you this small, I'm going to be paraphrasing here. In verse 15, it says, the Lord's. The Lord says to you, do not be afraid nor dismayed because of this great multitude, for the battle is not yours, but God's. Tomorrow, go down against them and you will not need to fight in this battle. Position yourselves, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. So I want to give you a little backdrop here. In this particular text, the king's back was against the wall. He had armies that were coming against him in battle, not one, not two, but he had three armies coming against him. And even though he was fearful, he did the most important thing. He sought the Lord. He interrupted God because he was desperate. The Bible said in verse three that King Jehoshaphat feared and he set himself to seek the Lord. And then he proclaimed a fast. And once he did his part, God responded by releasing a strategy for their success. And that strategy was to position yourself and stand still. But this is what it looked like. The text said that the king and all the people fell before the Lord and worshiped him. They praised God with a loud voice. They rose early in the morning and then they went forth to the position themselves. Once in position, he appointed singers to go out before the army. And when they opened their mouths to sing into praise, right at that moment, the strategy was activated and the Lord set ambushes against their enemies. Family, when we listen and honor God, there is a strategy in being still. But when God tells us to move, even when we do not understand, we have to realize that God knows best. God is telling us to trust in him because his game plan is the best plan. My next example can be found in 1 Samuel chapter 30. The Amalekites invaded David's city. They burned it and their wives, their sons and their daughters and had been taken captive. David was greatly distressed for the people spoke of stoning him, the leader, the king. But David strengthened himself in the Lord. And then David inquired of the Lord, saying, shall I pursue this troop? 
shall I overtake them? And the Lord told him, pursue for you shall surely overtake them and without fail recover all. Family, there will be times when you do not feel like moving because you are distressed. You're discouraged. You may feel fearful. You may be hurt and you may not have the strength to move. But I'm here to tell you this morning that if you want to overtake and dominate what has been dominating you, then you got to move. If you want to recover all that the enemy has stolen from you, then you have to pursue. But you don't move until you seek God on the matter. And then you wait until God gives the instruction, which is the strategy. My last example can be found in 2 Kings chapter 4. In this passage of scripture, a woman went to the prophet Elisha to let him know that the creditor was coming to take her two sons to be his slaves. So Elisha asked her, what shall I do for you? Tell me, what do you have in the house? And she said, I have nothing in the house but a jar of oil. Elisha told her, go borrow vessel from all your neighbors and do not gather a few. Then he told her to pour the oil into all the vessels and set aside the full ones. And then she came and told Elisha and he said, go sell the oil, pay your debt and you and your son live on the rest. Family, the woman was desperate and she was desperate because the creditor was coming to take her children. The woman had a plan because she had an urgent need and that was go to the man of God. That was a, her only strategy that she had. But in turn, the man of God gave her a two part strategy that turned a situation, her situation around. She had taken action by borrowing the vessel, which which is the first part. And then she went and she sold the oil, which is the second part. Family, this woman interrupted the man of God because her urgent need. And in turn, he gave her a life changing strategy. The woman went from I don't know what I'm going to do deficit to a life changing financial sustaining surplus. God wants to give us an on time right now financial strategy for this year of 2022. And I want to do a recap right here before I close of what God has been speaking to me about 2022. Number one, God wants to give us a strategy to get unstuck by dealing with our health. Just like the man at the pool of Bethesda, a strategy of our physical health. By having our mental health and having a good spiritual health as well. That's number one, a strategy for good health. Number two, God has been dealing with me about a plan of action of standing still and a game plan for moving forward to pursue. This is dealing with our private lives and corporately as the church as well. And number three, he wants to give us a strategy for our finances. So those three things right there, right down, right down. Number one, God wants to give us a strategy for our health. Number two, he wants to give us a strategy for standing still and then moving forward. And number three, he wants to give us a strategy for our finances. God, he wants to give us not only an on time right now, relevant word for the season that we're in, but he wants to give us a strategy or strategies to go along with the word that he's given us, because that is the purpose. That is the plan, the course of action. You can think about it in our minds, have it in our hearts, and then we can write it down because the Bible says write the vision down and make it plain so you can be able to run with it. So guess what? You got to have a plan for that, a plan for success. And God said, I want to give you this a strategy in order to do so. Let us pray. Father God, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you, Lord, for this opportunity. Thank you for this moment. Lord, we thank you, Father God, for this word. I thank you, Father God, for you want to give us new strategies for the season for this year of 2022. Lord, help us, Lord, to know that within the interruptions, Father God, of our lives, that Lord, help us, Lord, to stop, to make sure that we interrupt you, to find out what exactly you want us to do. 
And Father God, you have a strategy for every situation that we are facing and what we're going to face in this new year. Lord, help us, Lord, to rely upon you and not our own sales, our own thinking, our own mindset. But Lord, help us, Lord, to look to you. Lord, I thank you for strategies that you're going to release upon your people in this first quarter of 2022. But we thank you for doing so. And we give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise and say you did it in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. God bless your family. Thank you for allowing me the short time to meet you right there where you are. And this is the word for this week, strategy. And make sure that you seek God to find out the strategy you need for your life in this season, in the first quarter of 2022. God bless you. I love you. I'll see you back here same time next week. Amen. God bless you.